different packs will then sometimes find each other and join a new pack. And so a pack will be born. So that cut clears the question as well about uh, while how is it possible that there's no inbreeding taking place? So then it comes down to that situation that um, the more they, they, they mix up with other breakaways from other packs, they're non-related. So yeah, that's how wild oak packs can find each other and then mix up with a different gene pool. But wild oak packs on average in Africa, I'd say 10, between 10 and 15 animals in a pack.